All right, hello, I'm Dr. Boyer, and we're going to do a few experiment demonstrations to show you the effects of phase changes, um, especially liquid to vapor and vapor to liquid, changing volume a great deal. And of course, you'll be aware that um, atmospheric pressure surrounds you. So I'm going to walk over here and get a small bottle that is collapsible though it's not collapsed at the moment. I've taken the label off of it and I'm going to pour a little hot water in it. This water boiled a moment ago. I'm going to pour hot water in it so that the vapor of the hot water will replace the air in there. All right. Had a chance to um, the steam from this. I'll put in a little more steam from this. Is replacing some of the air. Now that that has had a chance to occur, I'm going to close it up. As it cools. Let's speed up the cooling a little bit. As it cools, the water vapor in here goes back into the liquid state and shrinks a lot. A little bit of cold water. a little bit warm, but you see that the volume of that shrunk. Now um, I'll show you another demonstration with the same sort of thing. I have here a bottle with a little water in it. I'm going to make this water boil to have the water vapor fill this, push the air out, and then I'll attach a hose to this so that you'll be able to see it sucking the water back in. Warm that up in the microwave for a minute. And just in case something splashes at me, we'll take just a few seconds to do this. Put on my oven mitt and my off glove. I can see it boiling in there, so just give it a little bit to boil. Now it has pushed out most of the air from there, so I'll attach this tube here. And as the as it condenses, you might be able to see it sucking the water up here. Oops. So the steam in here is condensing and it's sucking water into there. Pretty cool, huh? That shows you that the vast majority of the air had been pushed out by the steam. All right, let's do that again that same sort of thing with another experiment. Let's put a little bit of water in this and heat it up. Back up a little photographer. Heat it up on the stove. If this is aluminum and that's a nice stove top, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. And let's um, use the fruit bowl for water so that you can see what happens. A little bit of water in here. Don't need much. Back up the photographer.
just heat this up a little bit so it boils. So it's not going to take long to boil. I could hear it boiling. Okay, I can hear it boiling. Now I'm going to put this upside down into this bowl of water. That didn't work. Cut. Want to get me Anderson? Okay, you can hear it boiling. Uh, this time you can see the steam coming out. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah. All right. Now we'll let it go for just a little while to make sure the steam pushes all the air out of there. And then we'll put it up right down here. It cooled rapidly and the water vapor condensed rapidly and then this was left with no air inside of it but atmospheric pressure of 15 pounds per square inch surrounding it on the outside. A little bit of water. Let's boil it a little bit. Let's make sure it boils enough. It collapses so rapidly because the water doesn't have time to flow into there. I hope you guys appreciate this because each of these is worth 10 cents in Michigan. So you're using up 30 cents, huh? Yeah. I can hear a little boiling start, but I really need to wait until I see steam coming out of the top there. And that first one, I didn't wait till I saw steam out of the top. I see some now, lots of it. Lots of steam in the top. Boom. Alright, that concludes our experiments for today. Thank you very much.